Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hi, and today I'm here to bring you a tutorial video on how to properly clean your glasses thoroughly so that you get the maximum cleaning effect. Now I know most of you probably use some type of solution for your eyeglasses or sunglasses and also some microfiber cloths, hopefully, uh, to clean off the lenses. Now what I have here is an ultrasonic cleaner and a pair of my sunglasses that I use on an almost daily basis. And the purpose of the ultrasonic cleaner is to really get into the deep crevices and possibly get into the areas where you normally can't get with a microfiber cloth. And then also to be able to see what happens after you clean your glasses. Um, this ultrasonic cleaner can be used for jewelry and other items but today I want to just demonstrate my my glasses and like I said I have these sunglasses here that I use on an almost daily basis so it's really accumulated a whole bunch of you know dirt oil grease and, and possibly some bacteria that could be you know pretty bad for your eyes so what you want to do is all you need is just some water from the sink dish soap and the ultrasonic cleaner, of course. And in case you're wondering what it is, it is the Nutrent CD-1, sorry, CD-7810A ultrasonic cleaner. I got this as a gift, so I'm not exactly sure how much this is, but you can probably find this or something similar on amazon.com and uh, it should work just as well. So all you really need to do is pour the, I would, probably pour the dish soap first then put the water in and let it mix a bit and then finally you can just put your glasses in and the dish soap amount that you need isn't much all you need is just a tiny amount and then it should be able to do the trick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be right back okay guys I'm back and uh, what I wanted to mention was that there is a type of water you should use I recommend using a little bit of a cooler water as opposed to hot. Uh, I'm not sure if this ultrasonic cleaner is very sensitive to warm or hot water, so it's always best bet to kind of use water on the cooler side. And, um, you know, it shouldn't be terrible when you're using uh, or when you're putting in temperature sensitive uh, things like your sunglasses. You don't want it to warp the lenses or, or the, the frame. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the device here. And then for this particular model, you know, you see that it comes up with a, some numbers there. That is actually the default timer that it comes, uh, that it starts off with. Uh, I typically like to set it up to the max, which in this one is set to 480 or eight minutes. And then all I need to do is just dunk the sunglasses in. What I, what I want to make sure to do is just collapse it. Dunk it in there, look it all nice and soapy, okay? And then I can close the lid here so that, you know, I mean, nothing is gonna fly out. I've actually used this before in the past with the lid open and nothing, no water really comes out. But, you know, if, if you're, it's up to you if you wanna close it or open it. And then all you need to do is hit on and it starts it. And then what you can kind of see is you can start to see a little bit of the action going on. You know, some of the bubbles are moving around. It's kind of hard to really see what's exactly going on because most of the suds are, are blocking the, uh, the view here. But basically, all you gotta do is just wait for this to be done. And once you're done, just pull out the glasses. And I usually rinse it with some water and then and let it dry. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And uh, as you can see here, the timer has expired. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove the glasses. And what you can do to get rid of the remaining suds is just take a little bit of water, and I'll just rinse it off here. Open this up, put some of that in there. Okay, great. Shake it a little bit. And what I typically do is I just let it sit to dry for a bit. And then what I end up doing is taking a microfiber cloth and 
cleaning the, the rest of the lenses and the frame uh, once it's dried a bit. Um, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to let that soapy water sit and, and let the suds kind of um, dissipate after about a day. And I want to show you what you see after you know you get one of your at least one of your pairs of glasses cleaned. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I let the soapy water settle for about a day. And what you see there, that white cloudy residue, is a result of cleaning your glasses with the ultrasonic cleaner. I believe that cloudy mass is probably a combination of dirt, oil, grease, and possibly bacteria that's been more or less growing inside this, this water here um, after, after having settled. So this is another indicator of why you should probably wash or clean your glasses more often uh, than you think you should. Um, I definitely wouldn't want this stuff in my eyes or, or possibly uh, you know, damaging my eyesight at any point in time. This ultrasonic cleaner is a great investment. I use it for my eyeglasses, sunglasses, jewelry, you name it. Um, and uh, in case you want to see what the model was, it's the new Trent CD-7810A ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I got this as a gift, so I don't know exactly how much this costs, but I'm sure you can find one like this or, or similar uh, model in uh, Amazon. And um, yeah, I, I can truly attest to this product working very well. Um, and uh, you know, if you have any questions about the model and what it does, feel free to uh, give me a comment in the uh, comment section below. Well, that's all I have for today, folks. Thank you very much for listening. If you feel that this video has helped you out in any way, please give the video a like, as well as share this video to anyone who you think will benefit from the video. And finally, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as it helps this channel grow. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.